All right, everyone. Good morning and welcome in. My name is Alexis Miller. I'm one of the yoga instructors here for Yoga for Caregivers. So this is our weekly stretch session where we really focus on getting into our body, stretching ourselves out, getting us ready for the rest of the day and the rest of our week. So as we move through practice today, let's keep in mind our boundaries. Notice where are you ready to extend into postures? Where do you need to modify and come down to the mat? Or perhaps find your center posture. Also, keep in mind that I don't often cue water, so if and when you feel thirsty, of course, please feel free to step off your mat, grab that drink, and then join us whenever you feel ready. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and come into a comfortable seat, whether your legs are crossed or straight out in front of you. You can be up on a prop like a block, like I am, on a bolster or wherever, whatever you prefer, or just simply down on your mat. We're going to wiggle back and forth, rooting through the sits bones, and then we'll sit up nice and tall. Let's inhale as we bring our shoulders forward and up, and then exhale as we drop them back and down. One more time here. Inhale as we bring our shoulders forward and up. Exhale as we drop them back and down. Good. Bringing your hands into a comfortable position, whether on your knees, palms up or down, or in your lap. Gently closing the eyes if you'd like, or just find an unmoving point and soften your gaze here today. So this year, inspiration for our classes is drawn from the Native American medicine wheel based on Sun Bear's vision. The medicine wheel teaches us about movement and change and offers us insight that will help us learn and grow. We're now in the beaver phase of the year, which happens under the fifth moon of the year. This is a time of hard work and industry. With the pathway ahead clear, it's time to move forward with plans and create routines that support our goals. In this way, we start to cultivate the type of life we truly want to live. As we move through practice, notice how hard work supports your goals. Though the going may get tough, the end result is usually worth the effort. So settling in. Taking a deep inhale through your nose, filling the belly, lungs, and chest with air. And then slowly exhaling the breath back out. Take another deep inhale, fill the belly, lungs, and chest with air. And then slowly exhale that breath back out. Take another deep inhale as you feel your belly expanding outward, filling full of air. And when it reaches its maximum, exhale the breath out as you draw the belly button in toward the spine. Good. Inhale as you feel your torso expand and your collarbones gently lift. And then exhale as you feel the shoulders drop down and away from your ears. Inhale, drawing air in your nose, down your throat, and fill your lungs. And then exhale as you squeeze that air out the lungs, move it up the throat, and out the nose. Oh, excuse me. Continue to breathe deeply, inhaling and exhaling with intention. Noticing the movements of the breath here. Now, if your mind gets distracted, if it wanders off in a thinking adventure, that's okay. Notice the moment when you've gone away and then see if you can come back to the breath, back to your inhales and your exhales. If it makes sense for you, perhaps incorporating a mantra here to help you stay grounded and focused on the breath. Inhale, I can. Exhale, work hard. Inhale, I can. Exhale, work hard. Remaining here with your breath in whatever way best supports you for just a few more moments here today.
Let's take another deep inhale here. Set an intention or a purpose for your practice today, which really can be anything at all, but often answers the question, why did I get on my mat? Take a nice deep inhale here. Feel that intention with your heart and mind. Exhale your breath out. Set the intention off to the side, knowing we'll return to it toward the end of our practice. Good. Remaining right where you are here, sitting up nice and tall, we're going to exhale. Drop our left ear over to our left shoulder. Oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm so yawny this afternoon or this morning. <laughs> Good. Take a nice deep inhale here. And then exhale, roll your chin down to your chest, long spine, shoulders down, really feeling that pull through the back of the neck. And then on the next inhale, roll your right ear to your right shoulder, sitting up tall, shoulders down. Lovely. And then final one, inhale, roll your neck back, lift through the torso. So really focus on lifting through the chest, pressing your chin to the top of the sky so you're not crooking your neck here. Nice deep breath. And then inhale, let's go ahead and return to center. Nice work. We're going to get rid of that prop if you're sitting on one, coming down onto the mat, sits bones on the floor. And then we'll inhale, sweep the arms wide, bring them up overhead, cast your gaze skyward. Exhale, twist over to the left, right hand to the left knee, left hand behind your body, curve your head around, coming into a seated twist. <laughs> inhale, as we return to center, arms come tall. Exhale, twist over to the right, left hand to the right knee, right hand behind your body, curve your head around, seated twist. Good. Inhale as we return to center, arms tall. Exhale, twisting over to the left. So stay long through your spine, root through your sits bones at the same time. Inhale as you return to center. Exhale as we twist over to the right. Shoulders are shrugged down here. Last time each side, inhale, we come back into center. And then exhale, we twist over to the left here. Curve that nose around, bring that twist all the way into the neck. Inhale, we return to center last time. Exhale, we twist over to the right. Curve that nose around. Lovely. Inhale, we come back into center. And then exhale, drop the hands down to the mat, roll over the knees, or kick your feet out to the side and come into table. So your hands are beneath your shoulders, your knees are beneath your hips, and the tops of your feet are on the floor. We're going to inhale as we sink our bellies, lift our head and our hips coming into cow. And then exhale, lift the back, sink the head and the hips coming into cat. Inhaling into cow, belly sinks down, shoulder blades squeeze together, look up toward the sky. Exhale into cat, press the mat away, feel the shoulder blades separate, pelvis moves toward the chest. Last one, inhaling into cow. Feel that decompression in the low spine here. Exhale into cat. Feel that opening through the upper spine. Good. And then inhale, coming right back into neutral here. All right, on the next inhale, let's tuck the toes. And then on the exhale, let's lift the hips into a down dog. So since this may be the first down dog of the day or week, let's walk our dog, bending one knee and then the other opening up the backs of our legs here. Taking a nice deep inhale as you do. And a nice deep exhale. One more nice deep inhale. And then exhale, come into stillness. Let's take a nice inhale here. Exhale, shoulders shrug down onto the back. Heels reach toward the floor. Cross your chest toward the thighs. One more deep breath here. You're doing great. And then exhale, to drop our knees down to our mat. Good. We're going to go ahead and step our left foot forward here. Inhale up into neutral. Now, if you have props like blocks, now is a great time to grab them. You can also use a coffee table, a couch, or some other sturdy surface that's nearby as well, like a chair. Or you can go without props. That's totally fine as well. 
So we're gonna start by extending our left leg long. Foot is flexed here. We're strong on our right knee. Good. Inhale as you lengthen through the spine and then exhale as you hinge at the hips, lead with your heart center and fold forward over this front leg. So notice where I put my blocks here. My hands are firmly down on them. They're offering me support. You can have your blocks at a lower height. You can get rid of them altogether. Focus on leading with the heart center instead of the nose. So you're getting that nice deep stretch to the back of that left leg here. Keep your toes moving in toward your shin. So we really feel that stretch through the full length of the leg, excuse me, into the hip. Let's take a couple deep breaths here together. When you're ready, we're going to inhale, come forward onto that front foot, sink right into a low lunge. Blocks can stay right where they are, pressing into those blocks as much as you need. We're feeling a nice deep stretch in our right hip flexor now. Good. Let's take some nice deep breaths here together. All right, we inhale, come back onto that right knee straight in the front leg. Take your right block and step it over the left leg. Now, you can adjust your blocks here so you've got them firm beneath your hands. I'm already feeling a stretch through my IT band, the outside of that left leg. So you can stay here. Options to deepen the stretch is to walk those blocks until they're back and in line with your hips. You can step your blocks further out. You can move them down to a different height or just get rid of them all together. We're going for a nice stretch through the outside of that left leg. So keep those toes pointing toward the ceiling. Rotate through the spine. Feel that pull through the right side body here. And then let's take a couple deep breaths here together. All right, blocks back onto the high sides. Go ahead and walk ourselves back into center. Pop onto either side. Come onto your knee here and maybe drop that left block down to the side, maybe about six inches out to the left here. We're going to inhale, sweep tall with our right arm. Left hand comes down to the block as we lean over to the left here. Nice side body stretch on that right side. So as you reach through those top fingers, feel the pull through your right ribs into the top of your right hip. I'll adjust so you can see this front on, which is a little bit easier here. So you're kind of in this crazy position here, got limbs moving in all directions. Good. One more nice deep inhale here. Exhale, right arm sweeps up, lifting the body. Drop that left knee down here. Nice work. And then we're going to come on to the opposite side. So bring that right foot forward here. Come onto your left knee and extend your right leg long. Okay? So we're firm on that left knee here. Inhale as you lengthen through the spine. And then exhale as you hinge at the hips, coming into dragon opposite side. So once again, we're focusing on leading with the heart center here. So we're getting a nice deep stretch from the heel all the way up into the hip of that right leg. Using those blocks for support as you need. High side, lower side, lowest side, or maybe hands down to the mat. They can also be further up the leg, just not on your knee joint. So notice what is right for you here. And then let's take a couple deep breaths here together.
When you're ready, we're going to inhale, come forward onto that front foot, sink right down into that low lunge. So once again, knee and ankle are in line with one another. We're sinking the hips down. Good. Hands, again, can remain on those blocks. You can adjust the blocks if you want. Get rid of them. It's completely up to you. And again, we're feeling into that left hip flexor this time. Shoulder shrug down. Breathing. All right, we inhale, shift our weight onto the back knee, straighten the front leg once again. Take the left block, step it over the right leg. Good. So again, you can stay here. I'm already feeling a stretch to the outside of my right leg. You might be as well. This is great. If you want a deeper stretch, walk those blocks back as far as you're able, getting them in line with the hips if possible. If you want to go deeper, you can walk the blocks further out. You can move the blocks down to a different height. You could get rid of them all together. It's completely up to you. So notice what feels right for you here. Focus on rotating through the spine, keeping those right toes pointing toward the ceiling. Feel that pull through the left side body here. And then let's breathe. All right, we're going to inhale, walk ourselves back into center here, come up onto the knees and then drop or onto that left knee and then drop that right block down, maybe about six inches out from your hip. We're going to inhale, sweep tall with the left arm, exhale, drop that right hand down to the block, lean over to the right, reach through those left fingers, um, coming into that side body stretch. So again, I'll turn so you can see it from the front here. So we lean over, we're feeling the opening through the ribs down into the top of the left hip, using that right block for your support here. And then inhale, left arm sweeps up here. Go ahead and step back onto the knees. We're moving our props out of the way and we're sinking right into a child's pose. Arms long, forehead down onto the mat. So just take a quick moment here, check in with your body and notice what's present. Is there a particular sensation that's calling your attention? And if there is, where in your body does it reside? Just noticing. Taking a nice deep inhale here. Exhaling that breath out when you're ready. And then on the next inhale, go ahead, press yourself up onto your hands and knees. Come into a seated position. Extend your legs out into a wide stance. Oops, making sure your props are out of your way here. Good. So finding that wide-legged stance, yours may be wider or not as wide as me. It's totally fine. We inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, hinge at our hips and start to walk our hands forward, coming into a wide-legged forward fold. So check in with your toes. Notice, have they started to turn down toward the floor? If so, try to rotate those toes up, and that may mean you need to walk yourself back slightly. We want to keep that stretch as deep as we can get it here, as honest as we can get it through the inside of our legs, and keeping our toes pointing up is going to help with that. Maybe you're on your forearms. Maybe you're using props for support. Notice what feels right for you. And let's take a couple of deep breaths here together. Tuck that chin slightly so you're looking down at your mat so you're nice and long through your spine here. Mm -hmm. 
Now let's go ahead, inhale, come on back into center. Nice work. We're gonna go ahead and make our way onto our back. So if you need a towel off, grab a drink of water, put on socks or a jacket, now is your moment to do so. We will not sit up for the rest of our practice, okay? So coming on down onto your back, tuck your knees into your chest, give yourself a little squeeze here. Practice well done. And then drop the soles of the feet down to the floor. Now you have some options here. You can remain right here. Knees can fall open wide, soles of the feet can come together, recline down angle. You can extend one leg or the other for fallen tree. You can extend both legs if that feels good. Arms can find whatever position feels nice for you. You can even lay on your side or your belly if you prefer. Or you can just come into a seated position. It's really whatever you choose. This is your final relaxation practice. So I invite you to make it so. And as you settle in here, just start to tune into your breath. Notice the natural inhales and exhales as they move through your body. We're not controlling the breath anymore. We're not cultivating those deep breaths. Instead, we're just kind of letting ourselves settle here. Tune into the body and notice if there's any areas where you're still tensing or flexing. And see if on the next exhale, you can release that tension. You can settle. Breathing gently here. And if your mind wanders off, if it starts thinking about things happening off the mat, outside of this moment, it happens to all of us. Simply notice that you've gone away and then see if you can come back to focusing on being right here. Focusing on the movements of the breath. If it's helpful for you, maybe it makes sense to reincorporate that mantra we used at the beginning of our practice. Inhale, I can. Exhale, work hard. Inhale, I can. Exhale, work hard. Wherever you are, whatever you choose, just remaining here with your breath for a few more moments. I'm going to get quiet for these last moments of practice so you can have them to yourself. Please know I'm watching the time and most certainly respect yours. And I will let you out of this posture before the end of practice. Leaning back here, letting go, and just resting with your breath. Effortlessness is the key to success. Don't fight. Don't try hard. 
Just allow yourself to be. Allow your body to rest and be at ease. Bringing your awareness back to this space. Taking a deep inhale through your nose, filling your belly, lungs, and chest with air. For slowly exhaling your breath back out. Taking another deep inhale as you begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. Move your arms and legs, gently waking your body up. And when it feels right for you, roll onto one side and pause there with an arm or a hand beneath your head. It's here that I invite you to bring back to mind your intention or your purpose that you said at the beginning of your practice that answered the question, why did I get on my mat? Take another deep inhale here as you make your way on up into a seated position and we close out our practice together today. So finding a comfortable seat, grounding down into the sits bones, sitting up nice and tall. We inhale, bring the shoulders forward and up. Exhale them back and down. Finding a comfortable position for your hands, knees, lap, heart center, closing the eyes if you'd like. We take a moment to express gratitude for yet another lovely day here on earth and for our bodies that allow us to do so many things, including yoga. Thank you all so much for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. It's a joy and an honor, and I hope to be able to do so again in the future. The light in me, it sees the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much again for joining me for this weekly stretch session with Yoga for Caregivers. Again, my name is Alexis Miller. You can find me here every Wednesday at 9 a.m. So make sure to mark your calendars, set your alarms. <laughs> I look forward to seeing you again. You can also find Yoga for Caregivers on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Instagram. There you can connect with us and you can also access resource, resources offered by all their volunteers like myself. So thank you once again. I hope you have a brilliant rest of your week and I look forward to practicing with you again. Until next time. Bye.